Jerry, when will there finally be a border poll and a United Ireland? Well, we, we want to see it within the next five years. Uh, both governments are resisting it. Uh, I, I talked to the British Secretary of State about this a month ago, and Michelle O'Neill wrote to him. Uh, I have talked to the Taoiseach, the last one and this one, and I talked just recently, just the last week, to the new Minister for Foreign Affairs about this as well. I've also written to all the party leaders in the Dáil. Uh, we have proposed that we should establish uh, an all-party committee in the Parliament in Dublin to look at this issue, to reach out to the Unionists. Uh, and we've also been for some time, including here in the States, involved in uh, conferences and discussions and debates about uh, what Irish unity might look like, how we would get it, and latterly how we would get a border or a, a, a referendum on Irish unity, and how we would win it. And that's a very live, I'm actually going to a meeting on Wednesday with this very issue uh, next week. That's a very live issue for us. And interestingly enough, as I've said previously, because of the dire consequences of Brexit, because what Brexit will mean is that the land frontier between the European Union and the non-European Union will be on the border of Ireland. So the border which has all but disappeared in the last 20 years uh, will become uh, very hard and very difficult and will be uh, devastating for Irish economy and for businesses and for the agricultural industry and so on. So because of that, people who aren't necessarily United Irelanders, but who value the fact that they can trade across the island, uh, can make a living across the island, can grow their businesses across the island, are now at least taken to the view that we need an all-island approach. So part of what Sinn Féin has argued for was that people in the North voted to remain within the European Union, is that we should have a special designated status. So I'm not suggesting that Brexit will automatically lead to Irish unity. And indeed, I think we have to be careful that we're not be seen to exploit uh, what's happening around Brexit. But I certainly think it has made the issue of unity uh, a very live issue for people who otherwise wouldn't have considered it before.